I like to come to school. I like to come to school. I like to learn and play each day. I like to come to school. We don't know what school is going to be like, but you know what? The children are going to be excited to see you, and we need to mirror that positive attitude and excitement. A long time ago, when I started teaching and I was scared to death, my mother gave me some advice. And my mother never went to college, but she had more common sense. And what my mother said was, honey, you just got to love them and be nice to them. And I think that's true no matter what school is going to look like this fall. I was listening to a, a football coach, and he made the comment that it's like trying to fly a plane while we're building it. And I thought, you know, that might be true for football, but it's also true for education. We're trying to build the plane as we're flying it. We don't really know, and we've all got to be so flexible and adaptable. So um, my granddaughter helped me do this little chant, and um, you can find it today on my website. Um, and it's a little positive chant about going to school. And you'll have to forgive me while I see if I can find it here. All right, and I'll just hold it up like this. Uh, where'd you go? We like to go to virtual school. We like to go to virtual school. Learning is from home is really cool. I can't get this out. Learning from home is really cool. Gather all the supplies you need. Gather all the supplies you need. Are you ready? Yes, indeed. Are you ready? Yes, indeed. Sit up straight in your chair. Sit up straight in your chair. Show your teacher that you care. Show your teacher that you care. Come on in and wave hello. Come on in and wave hello. Smile at all the friends you know. Smile at all the friends you know. When you talk, Please take turns. When you talk, please take turns. Look, listen, and you will learn. Look, listen, and you will learn. Reading, writing, we are smart. Reading, writing, we are smart. Math and science, music and art. Math and science, music and art. We sing, share, and have a great time. We sing, share, and have a great time. When we go to school online. When we go to school online. I'm laughing at myself because you all know I'm a dinosaur and I worked so hard to show this video and I couldn't get it to come up. But you know what? Just go to my blog or go to my website and you can pull up that video of Colleen and I. And then teacher Tony Mullins made this adorable little book to go with the chant. And um, when you make books like this, it's good to glue the front page to a pocket folder, and then you just insert the other pages in clear sheet protectors, and you've got a great book that you can use over and over and over again. So I wanted to spend a little time today sharing some ideas that you can use uh, when school starts and some supplies you might want to have. And, you know, they talk about hybrid schools. Well, this is kind of a hybrid video, and my blog this month is going to be all about things that you can use in the virtual classroom or the real classroom because kids are kids. It doesn't matter. And so um, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, having a little office for the children. And this, you know, makes them feel like they are coming to school. And if you just take two file folders and tape them together, then you can stand this up. And when the children do their independent work, they could use this at home or they could use this in the classroom and just help them focus a little bit. Where did I get the different printables that I have on here? I always Google free 
printable, and then whatever I'm looking for. And you can usually find it free. Now, see, this would be something that you could adapt for any age level. If you work with the younger children, you just might want to have shapes and colors. If you work with some of the older children, you might want to do a word wall. And then I love this idea that a teacher shared. Um, she used two pocket folders. I've just got one here to demonstrate. But uh, two pocket folders with the word wall at the top. And then on one of the folders, it said working on. And another one, it said finish. So if the children are doing an activity and they have to stop in the middle of or something and they don't finish, they put it in working on. And then when they complete something, they put it in finished. And um, I thought this was really good for the executive function to help them uh, for delayed gratification, initiation and completion of tasks and things like that. So those are little mini offices I wanted to show you. I also wanted to show you a study carol that um, you could use in the classroom or this would be a great thing to get the parents to make with their kids at home. It's just a box. I cut off two sides of the box, really one side and then the top of the box. And they set this up on a table and then the children can do their independent work here. And it just, again, helps them focus a little bit. Let the kids decorate it with markers and pictures and, you know, stickers and all sorts of things. And it's a great little uh, study carol for them. Now, um, some other tools that you might want to think about uh, putting on your supply list. A white board. I'm telling you, the kids love these things. And if you put a butterfly clip at the top, then you've got a clipboard as well as a whiteboard. And um, you could use these uh, for lots of different activities. You could call out a uh, word and they write down the beginning sound. You could have them uh, practice spelling words or you could give them a math problem and then they could hold up the answer. For the little ones, you could let them practice pre-writing uh, pre strokes or writing their name. And again, I have uh, you'll find all these ideas on my blog this coming week. I've got a different one every day. Um, but I love these whiteboards because they're reusable. You know, we use a piece of paper, we throw it away, and these can be used over and over and over again. And, you know, they can use a tissue to eraser, and Old Sock makes a great eraser, too. Now, um, I've looked at different places for these. The least expensive ones I found were at Walmart. And um, this would be a great thing to put on your supply list. Laura Buenadonna had a fun game that she played called Musical Chairs, where the children put this uh, would have this in their chair and she plays music and the kids walk around the chair and then you know she might call out a number and then they have to make the tally marks for it or whatever um so that turns this into a game when you use it for some of the different skills you might want to build for something like that um the thing about using a whiteboard like this is every child is engaged every child is doing something and every child can feel successful because um, they hold up their boards and they can look and see what the teacher has and they can self-correct and it's just really good uh, immediate feedback. Now, um, another thing that I wanted to mention about these is you know, they have different colored markers, which makes it even more fun to use these clipboards. So in the real classroom or in a virtual classroom, these are just a great tool to have for the children. Um, now, if you don't want to buy whiteboards, you know what? Plastic plates will do the trick. You can also take a piece of cardstock and laminate it, and that works like a whiteboard. Or Lowe's and Home Depot, if, you, if you're really nice, they might get a white shower board for you and cut it into like nine by 12 inch sections so that you will have enough little whiteboards for everybody in your room. So a great tool that you will want um, in the real or virtual classroom. Now, another tool is, is a clipboard. Kids love clipboards and, and you can buy these or you can put the clipboard on your whiteboard board um, or just get a piece of corrugated cardboard and here again they can use these for lots of interactive activities my concern is when they're sitting in front of a screen so much we, we've got to do something to activate the brain and use multiple senses and so when they write or when they stand up and play musical chairs or when they play different games it's active learning you've got more sensory input for the children which we need to do we've got to balance it with all the screen time Another thing that you can put on your supply list, 
sticky notes. And you can use the sticky notes in the same way that you would use the whiteboard, um, that you would um, say a word and they, you know, show the beginning, middle, end, sound, whatever. You could have them spell sight words. You could give them a math fact, or I'm thinking of the number that's two more than six, or, you know, different things like that. Or um, how do you feel today? So they could use these sticky notes. Um, everybody could hold it up and respond to it. Y'all know how I love Play-Doh. <laughs> Every child needs some Play-Dohs. Um, I was talking to my daughter about some supplies that it would be nice if every child had these. And um, I mentioned Play-Doh. My grandson, who's 15, said, Play-Doh? Why did you want Play-Doh? Well, Play-Doh is so good for those small motor skills, but it's also multi-sensory and it's reusable. So after you read a story, you could let them make their favorite character from the story. Or if you did a, a science unit on um, animals in the Arctic, they could make their favorite animal. Or you could let them roll the Play-Doh and make shapes. Or you could let them um, make something that started with a sound. Again, almost any skill that you wanna work on, you can use Play-Doh and use it over and over again. And um, just wanted to mention that Barbara Gruner and Laura Buenadonna and Tony Mullins and I are working on a virtual classroom survival guide. And, um, you know, we, we all have to do something. Uh, we just got to keep a positive attitude and, and figure out how to make school fun and meaningful for children. And so that's what we're trying to do with our little book. And it will be out July 15th. So just stay tuned and I will tell you more about that as time goes on. So thank you for joining me today. Um, if you've gotten at least one new idea, would you put your thumb up next to your chest? If you've learned more than one new thing, would you put up a finger for each additional thing you've learned and say, that's another little active learning that you could do with your children real classroom or virtual classroom just to review and recall information and because it's america's birthday and you are my lunch bunch i wanted to show you what i'm going to have for lunch today i'm going to have a firecracker sandwich and this is how you make the firecracker sandwich you get a piece of bread wheat whole wheat whatever you want cut the crust off the bread and then roll it flat with the rolling pin roll it real flat and then you can put peanut butter and jelly you can put turkey and cheese you can put whatever you want on the bread roll it up put it in saran wrap and tie it at the ends with some red white and blue ribbon and you have a firecracker sandwich so thank you for joining me uh you give me something to do every day that i Try to think of ways that I can help you. You know, I know you're under a lot of stress now. I'm a retired teacher, but I still wake up in the middle of the night trying to think, how are they going to do this? And you know what? You're going to do it because you're all super teachers. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm going to see you next Wednesday. I'm going to have ideas for you every day on my blog, drgenumfriends.blogspot.com. So take care. God bless. See you soon. To virtual school. We like to come to virtual school. Learning from home is really cool. Learning from home is really cool. Gather all the supplies you need. Gather all the supplies you need. Are you ready? Yes.
Show your teacher that you care. Show your teacher that you care. When you talk, please take turns. When you talk, please take turns. Look, listen, and you will learn. Writing, we are smart. Reading, writing, we are smart. Math, science, music, and art. Math, science, music, and art. We sing, share, and have a great time.